Hey y'all, it's Carly. Today I'm going to be doing something new with some of the seeds I've been starting. I have a very kind and generous subscriber named Deb who told me about this biodome system and that it has been a foolproof way for her to start her seeds um, for many years now. And she was very, very kind enough to send me one so I could try it out for myself being a beginner gardener. So thank you so much, Deb. That was very kind and I'm very excited to use it. So what I got was the 40 cell tray. I believe this is the jumbo size. So this is like a styrofoam insert that has all these holes. It comes with a bottom tray to set it in. It also comes with these inserts, which is what you're going to soak. They will plump up when you put your seeds in each one. And then it also comes with the humidity dome on top. So what I'm doing with this today, I one thing that's really failed for me, and I'm not sure why, are nasturtiums. So I have some back there and out of about 40 seeds that I planted, only five have sprouted. That's a terrible um, germination rate. So very disappointed in that because I was definitely planning on putting nasturtiums near a lot of my flowering plants and vegetables that need to be pollinated by bees because I know bees love nasturtiums. So very disappointed in that. I wanted a lot more. So I bought another pack at the store. I also have a couple left of the peach melba variety that I planted over there and only two out of about 20 seeds that I planted germinated. So we're going to try this in the biodome and see if it's the seeds or something happened with the way that I planted them before. So I have some of that today and then whatever we have left over, I'm gonna do a few varieties of zinnias because it's time to plant those as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I have a giant bowl of water here. And the first step it says is to submerge all of these little pods. They look like this into this water and that they are going to plump up. All right, I have my little pods submerged. I counted out 40 and there's two left over in the bag. So they look like this up close and then they will just position themselves into the holes. And so this is going to plump up for 15 minutes and then we can plant our seeds. Now I'm filling each of the spots with the little inserts. It was super easy to fill in. It was really nice not having to fill all of this with dirt and making a mess and pushing it down and making sure that there were no air bubbles or anything like that. So that was super easy. I did notice that there's a hole in the middle of each little insert, but some of the holes are off to the side. So I did notice, and you'll see later on when we have some sprouts, that some of the sprouts are just growing completely on the side of the insert. Some are nicely in the middle, so just be aware of that. But what I'm filling right now are my nasturtiums. The first was the peach nasturtium, which I had a horrible germination rate when I started them before. So we are trying those again. And then these are just some cheap nasturtiums that I picked up from Walmart. So we're just gonna do a little comparison. I'm also doing zinnias today. This is the Isabellina. And this is like a buttery yellow, pastel yellow color, which is gonna be really nice. And then I'm also going to be doing a salmon color. So. I know zinnias are quite easy to grow, so I'm gonna compare those to the nasturtiums and see how they turn out. Since this is the 40 cell tray and I'm using four different types of flowers, that means I'm doing two rows per each type of seed. So we're going to get 10 plants out of each of these types of seeds. Lastly, we're going to label our seeds, give it a little bit of water in the basin, Put the humidity dome over it and then it's going to its new home under the grow lights. So here we are day three. This is when I first saw germination and you can see that the zinnias all 
almost all popped up, about 80%, I would say, but no growth yet from the nasturtiums. On day four, we have our first little sign of a nasturtium, just one, and it's from the pack that I got from Walmart and not the peach kind. Day five, zinnias are getting a little leggy. We still have growth on our one nasturtium that's come up, but no other signs yet. Day seven, zinnia is still going strong. We have some more nasturtium growth. There's our first peach nasturtium, and then we have four of the package that we got from Walmart. And lastly, on day 10, our zinnias are still looking good, pretty leggy. Um, we couldn't put the light down very far because the humidity dome got in the way. So I took the humidity dome off as soon as I could just so that they could get some more light. But we still had a rate of four, five nasturtiums, I believe, from the cheap Walmart packet. And then we only had one germinate of the peach nasturtium. So it must have been that bag. I don't know why. I've seen so many people grow nasturtiums easily, so I think we found our answer. <laughs>